Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, and welcome to Command Power, the show in which we discuss all things Magic the Gathering with a focus on Commander. And today we have another episode in our Spoiler Spotlight series in which I talk about, well, spoilers and tell you what my thoughts are on them. But before that, just a quick reminder to click subscribe if you enjoy my videos. We're well on our way to a million subscribers and your support means everything to me. And today we're going to be talking about Dazzling Theatre and Prop Room. For three colors and two white, Dazzling Theatre is an enchantment room with creatures spells you cast have convoke and prop room which for two colors and one white is the other side of the room which says untap each creature you control during each other player's untap step so this is really good on both sides having prop room for just three mana is really powerful it's a lot like drum bellower except it's almost always going to be better because enchantments are harder to remove than creatures and you're not even paying a premium for the flexibility because you can still then later on pay an extra four and get a really powerful effect such as is getting to convoke your creature with your other creatures. That's really solid and they work so well together without any additional build around you basically get a deck where you can tap anything that can't really attack or even creatures that have summoning sickness and then get to untap them so they can still block during your opponent's turn. That's obviously the baseline and that's already really good but as soon as you start building around it even a little bit this becomes so much more powerful. So obviously it's put into the set because it works very well with the survivor mechanic. Those creatures are going to have to attack so then being able to untap them with prop room during your opponent's turn is really good but more than that, being able to tap them to convoke stuff means that you can get their abilities off without putting them in harm's way. Obviously it works sensationally well with all of the survivor creatures, but it also works very well with any creature that has a tap ability in particular, because then you can use them four times during turn cycle, which is obviously nuts. Getting to reuse activated abilities over and over is a great way to win the game, particularly if your deck is built around it, so this is going to slot very well into certain commander decks. Wily Duke was one that immediately came to mind. That's a deck that wants to be full of creatures that are tapping so this is going to work very nicely with that it's also going to work really well in any deck that is running a lot of vehicles and mounts because your creature is going to tap naturally that means that you can crew your vehicles during opponent's turns as well or just keep your creatures up after you've attacked with your vehicles if you're playing stuff like glare of subdual this becomes amazing because you can tap down your opponent's stuff turn after turn after turn it's going to make it very difficult for them to attack you and you can still attack as well so it's just very solid in that sense so it synergizes with a lot of different things i think you want to play most most of all in a deck in which your commander has a really powerful activated ability. So something that would fit the bill would be Tariel Reckoner of Souls because her ability to reanimate a creature from a graveyard every single time she taps is really powerful and being able to do that four times per turn cycle is game winning. But yeah in any case the fact that both sides of this card are insanely powerful and neither of them is particularly overcosted makes for an absolutely great room and this is going to be a very powerful card in commander. So there you have it. Those have been my thoughts on this new spoiler. What do you think though? Do you disagree? Agree with me or do you think I got it right? Let me know in the comment section below. I always make sure to read all of your comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click like or subscribe. It really helps the channel. And until next time, take care.